I was first hired here as an actual instructor in 2004, but I was around before that doing various other projects, primarily for the math department, but also jointly with the engineering department. This past term, I did 1ZA slash 1A03, the combined calculus for engineering and sciences, and I also did 1L03 statistics. Next term, I'm doing 1M03 business calc, the 1ZA A3 and 1ZB3 combined engineering science term 2 calculus, and the repeat of the 1ZA3. Typically I do the first year courses, primarily the engineering to a lesser extent the business. Every so often I do the algebra for a bit of variety, and uh, I usually work one or two of the summer courses as well. They keep me rather occupied. On top of all that, I also work in the Math Help Center, so likely if you haven't seen me doing a lecture, you've probably seen me in the Help Center one or two times, coming by and making sure everything's running A-OK. -okay. I try to keep, make sure that the whole lecture moves. See, people often, when they think of math, they think of a bunch of random equations written on a blackboard, like somebody's chiseled some strange epsilon into a rock somewhere, and it just sits there doing nothing. What I try to emphasize is math is alive. It's a moving, living thing. You learn rules and properties that describe the metaphor of what you're doing, and they flow from those properties through your problem to a conclusion that hopefully you can make use of. That's what I try to do. And so my lectures are very you know, live. I do in person, no slides, no net. I just go through and do them all by hand on Blackboard or overhead in front of an audience and try to make sure I connect with them directly through conversation, through metaphor, through story, and try to keep things moving. Not only is math alive in the sense that it grows and new things are being discovered and developed all the time, but it's also alive in the fact that older materials they flow, they move, they have a life. And when you work on a math problem, you're not just sitting there doing some rote memorization. It's more like dance. You want to know it moves and flows, and you want to develop a grace to how you work with it. That's what I think is important about math. And that's what I hope the students take away from my lectures. I went and asked my, uh, my niece and nephews what they thought was interesting about me. So my oldest nephew, he's 14, he goes, Oh, Uncle Chris, it has to be your medieval weapon collection. And if you've ever been down the basement of Berg Science and walked past my office, you've probably noticed I've got a a helmet sitting on top of my coat rack. And of course that very much appeals to a 14 year old boy who happens to be my nephew and that's the first thing he thought of. The little ones though, they're eight, they're twins, I love them to pieces, they said to me, Uncle Chris, the most interesting thing about you is that you play with us. So I guess that's what I'll go with. The most interesting about me is that I play with my little niece and nephew.